Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a quick video on the unboxing of my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K small rig camera cage. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up and I want to show you guys how exactly it looks without the camera and installation and how it looks after. So let's do that right now. Just a quick info update for you guys. The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, currently my setup is as such. Uh, it's the Comica microphone. It's the Viltrox 0.71X adapter for EFM 2 to micro four thirds. And then we also have the Pancake Lens 24 millimeters uh, STM lens that is built for EFS, but I've adapted it to where it could fit the EF adapter. There's still some issues with focusing, I'm still trying to figure it out, but that's totally fine. Uh, and then we just have this small little rail that I picked up on eBay by Bowling. This is the current setup, and uh, I've pretty much been using this as it is right now, just so I can get along until I get my actual cage, which I've picked up today. Okay, so now that we have it unboxed, let's go ahead and put this thing together. Uh, I did want to let you guys know, I didn't actually get the NATO cheese handle. Uh, I actually picked up the $15 version on eBay. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but uh, it was a $15 difference, so I figured I'd pick this up instead. I have a feeling I will end up picking up the NATO and having this as a secondary backup or a possible side grip, so we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this guy on this camera. It didn't come with any instructions, but I'm sure it's fairly similar to all the other rigs that I've seen set up. Basically set up the top and bottom, so that's what we'll do right now. Uh, just slide this guy in. You have your screw right here at the top. It's going to mount to the top of your uh, Blackmagic Pocket. The Allen wrench is located at the bottom of the cage. We'll load this guy at the bottom as well. Get this custom adapter for it. We'll see how that loads in. I don't know what this third screw is for, but we'll see where that goes to. Ooh, that feels really sturdy. All right, there you have it, guys. It's a nice grip. Uh, it's definitely larger uh, compared to without the cage, so it's not as held, held or handheld or pocket like it was. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cheese handle on right now. Unfortunately, this one is different Allen wrenches uh, with this, so we'll see how it turns out without it. So we got that one pretty snug on there. Like I said, the Allen wrenches size are different for this cheese handle compared to the other one. Um, now that I'm looking at it, we might want to get the NATO cheese handle uh, just because it's more adjustable and it's uh, not necessarily uh, fixed the entire time. But yeah, that's the, uh, the look of the small rig on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Definitely a nice, sleek setup. I was going to get the Tilta, uh, but I was a little worried that the overall uh, proprietariness of it was going to be frustrating, so I decided to go with this guy. There is the option to get the T5 holder adapter. Uh, there's a bunch of other options that uh, Small Rig has made available, and there's a lot of ones that are coming out. So, highly recommend you definitely check out the Small Rig Black, Ma Black Magic Pocket Cinema 4K uh, setup, camera rig setup, and uh, we'll see how this thing turns out. I'm definitely going to add more stuff to kit this thing out with, but uh, this is how it looks so far. Let's go ahead and throw the microphone on here just to see how it looks with that bad boy. Well, there you have it, guys. There's the rig. Uh, I will be getting more stuff for this camera. Currently, I just have this little pancake lens on here, so it looks kind of dumb. I do think that this cheese handle is a little too tall, so uh, it may look better with the smaller one as well. But uh, I just want to show you guys what it looks like, how easy it is to set up. And um, I definitely am not disappointed in this setup. And I'm curious to see what other add-ins they have available for this when it comes out. Thank you so much, guys, again, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.